So before we start the review of this fused tea, peach and hibiscus iced tea from Costa, there's a few things I have to mention on the Adam and Val YouTube channel. First of all, I'm probably going to get inside the car because it's a bit noisy out here. Secondly, this is my first ever time drinking any form of iced tea. And Adam said, as I've never had iced tea before, maybe I should do the video. Fuse Tea is a Coca-Cola brand of tea. Coca-Cola and Costa, it makes sense that they sell Fuse Tea. F-U-Z-E, Fuse Tea. I had a little chat with the guy as he was making it. I'm gonna put some footage up now while I waffle and try and get in the car. And basically, they soak, or they steep the tea bag for exactly 45 seconds in the water. Then they add some peach and hibiscus flavoring, a load of ice, they shake it up, a slice of lemon goes on top, and you've got this apparently refreshing ice tea drink. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not much of a tea drinker. I probably have about one cup of tea a year, if that. Iced teas never really appeal to me. I like an iced coffee, but iced tea, I'm not so sure. However, that could be the making of the video. This is peach and hibiscus flavor, like I said. There is a, some, a lemon and ginger or something, and a such strawberry and mint. I didn't want to go for those flavors. I went for this peach one. So we're gonna set up the camera in the car, and we're gonna have a taste. What I also gonna say is, this might be one of those drinks where my first few sips might not be the same reaction to my last few sips. So I might go, uh, or I might go, mm, and then 10 minutes later I might think, oh, that's nice, or oh no, that's horrible, the more I've had of it. So we're probably gonna try and do a bit of a before and after. So we'll get set up in the car, and let's have a look and see if I actually like it. Fuse tea in the car, coming up in about three, two, one. So we're in the car, we've got the camera set up. I'm not sure if the lighting's right. I've got a bit of shade coming over. So I think, look, if I do that, you can see me. Hopefully I'm not too dark on the screen. We're gonna try this peach and hibiscus tea. I am a little bit nervous, but like I say, I think we need to do a before and after. Um, you can smell it, it smells of peachy. It smells a bit peachy. That's that syrup they put in it just for the flavoring. I can taste peach, and it's weird because I can I can taste tea, whatever that blend of tea bag is that Coca-Cola have invented. It's actually not unpleasant for a first sip. And if you like peach flavor, that peach flavor's out. I'm not sure what hibiscus is. I think it might be a flower, some sort of plant, which I'm, I don't know if I'm getting that. All I can taste really is peach and tea and cold water. Do I like it? It's all right. <laughs> it's, uh, I thought maybe I might have gone, oh, that's disgusting. And I haven't, which I'm pleased about because you need to experience these things. And it's one of those things that you sort of think, would I ever have it again? Or if someone made it for me, would I be happy to drink it? Going on first impressions, yes, I would. I'm gonna drive home and I'll do one final bit of filming because it's about 10 minutes away, because I will sip it on the way home. But I have to be honest, that's that's not bad at all. In fact, I'm gonna say that at this moment in time, it's pleasant, it, it's a pleasant drink. It's not my usual cup of tea, <laughs> but it is very pleasant and it is very, very refreshing. But well, that might be because there's four tonne of ice in it. Look, why do they, all these frappes and all these cold ice brews in any coffee shop, they always go overboard with the ice. I think maybe they should tone it down a bit with the ice and get more of the drinking. But that's how they make their money. Right, let's get the car started. And we'll do a final thoughts at the end. So I'm home. And look, nearly all gone. There was a little bit of traffic and I, a long junction of traffic lights. So I had something to drink. Straw, these straws are terrible. I know we have to have cardboard straws. I'll get that, but look what's happened to the straw. Last little dregs in the bottom. Am I an iced tea convert? Probably not. However, I would have this again 
because I think if it's a warm afternoon, rather sometimes a frappe can be a bit heavy because they've loaded with milk and ice and what have you. Sometimes a cold brew coffee doesn't always cut it. And I think that would make a change. So yes, I would have that again. I would probably have that flavor. I'm not going to go and explore the world of iced tea. However, it's not as scary as I thought it was. There's a nice tea flavor, like I said, nice peach flavor, a bit too much ice. £2.95 for a small one. Not sure the price of the medium or the large. I probably wouldn't want a medium or a large. And this was free because I had a Vodafone Very Me Reward free drink at Costa. So look at that. Near enough all gone. It gets a thumbs up for my first time trying an iced tea. But like I say, I'm not fully a convert. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already for more iced tea related drinks or coffees or frappes or chocolate or crisps or anything else we can get our hands on.